You are about to listen to the second episode of a mini series about Taiwanese Mandapop music. If you haven't already, you're welcome to check out the first episode where I talk about early Taiwanese Mandapop classics. This is Chi with Chinese Pod, and you're listening to Journey into Mandapop. No other song can epitomize Chinese pop music in the 70s as much as this one, or even all Chinese pop music. This is the quintessential song that every Chinese speaking person knows, or if they don't know, then they'll come to know it. The moon represents my heart. The melody and lyrics are really simple, and you can learn it really quickly. I was in this house party, and everyone was singing this song. Hats off to the singer Deng Li Jun. If you don't know who she is already, only she could sing it that beautifully. That's the opinion from the famous Chinese music producer Chen Xiaoqi. He says, 当时觉得特别震撼. I felt really shocked at the time. 原来歌曲可以这样唱的. Turns out songs could be sung this way. Indeed, her sweet voice was one of a kind and unprecedented. This is another Deng Li Jun song, and I was recording this in a subway station in New York City. And the guy who was singing it was actually African American. And here's the original. This song, Tian Mi Mi, Sweet Like Honey, was originally an Indonesian folk song that has adapted Chinese lyrics. And here comes the Chinese fiddle, the Ar Hu. And for this following Deng Li Jun song, my friends who are from Japan, they're performing in this elderly people's home in an area where there were a lot of Asian people, again in New York City. I only care about you. Apart from being almost known to all Chinese-speaking people, this song is also very famous in Japan. In fact, the music is written by a Japanese composer. Well, I mean, I didn't record all these audio snippets on purpose. Deng Li Jun is just too influential not to be in our daily conversations about Chinese pop music. The three songs that I've just introduced, Yue Liang, Dai Biao Wo De Xin, Moon Represents My Heart, Tian Mi Mi, Sweet Like Honey, and Wo Zhi Zai Hu Ni, I Only Care About You, happen to be the most famous three songs by Deng Li Jun, and probably in that order. Because of the political tensions between Taiwan and mainland China, people in the 70s and 80s had to listen to these bootlegged cassette tapes, vinyl discs, pirate radios just to listen to Deng Li Jun. The chairman of the Communist Party at the time was 
Deng Xiaoping, so the same last name as Deng Liqun. So there was a saying, 白天听老邓，晚上听小邓。During daytime, we listen to old Deng, and in the nighttime, we listen to little Deng, the younger Deng, Deng Liqun. So in your movies, TV stations, karaoke parlors, your dinner with your aunties and uncles, tour bus groups where you're stuck with unfamiliar people for a few days, what unifies all Chinese-speaking people together? Teresa Tang, Deng Liqun. Let's move on to singer-songwriters. The song that we're going to look at line by line today, as we do in every Journey into Mandarin Pop episode, is called "Tongnian Childhood." It's written and performed by the master songwriter Luo Dayou. The song is released in 1983. So kids in the sixties, they don't play with the iPads. They go to the playgrounds. They play outside. Go hiking. Read comics. And this song is about that. And I think the music also paints such a picture. And that's just beautiful when music and the lyrics work together. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chinese Pod Trivia. Our first question is: How long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A. the rest of your life? B. You should already be an intermediate speaker. C. Three months. Or D. Chinese Pod has an app. Uh, you should already be. In- Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C. Three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. Shitang Bian the Rong Shu Shang. Shitang is the pond. Bian is beside. So beside the pond, Shitang Bian the Rong Shu Shang. Rong Shu Banyan Tree. So, 池塘边的榕树上 on the banyan tree beside the pond. 知了在声声叫着夏天知了 is an informal way of saying cicada. We normally say chan for cicada, but the fun way to say it is 知了 because 知了知了知了知了知了知了在声声叫着夏天 We know sheng as in to voice, so sheng sheng is the voice repeatedly. So 知了在声声叫着夏天 would be like 夏天夏天夏天夏天夏天夏天夏天夏天。Basically, meaning the cicadas are repeatedly reminding you that summer is here. Playground is a playground. Playground is a swing. Swing butterfly. Playground is a swing. Swing butterfly. Swing is a playground. There was only a butterfly resting on it. Hey, 板上老师的粉笔
，黑板 blackboard， 老师 teacher， 粉笔 chalk。The chalk with which the teacher is writing on the blackboard, 还在拼命叽叽喳喳写个不停，还在 is still 拼命 risking one's life. So that means working very hard. 叽叽喳喳 that's phonetically imitating the sound of writing a lot on the blackboard. But we normally use this word to describe somebody who never stops talking. 小孩们。一直在叽叽喳喳的不断说话。These kids are 叽叽喳喳，叽叽喳喳 ，nonstop talking. And so here it's 叽叽喳喳，写个不停。黑板上老师的粉笔还在拼命叽叽喳喳写个不停。The chalk with which the teacher is writing on the blackboard keeps on making noises as she scribbles. Well, could be a he too. As we listen to this again, we hear Luo Dayou's、uh, Taiwanese accent. Instead of 叽叽喳喳 he sings 叽叽喳喳 End of class, 放学 End of school, 等待着下课等待着放学 Waiting for class to end, waiting for school to end, 等待游戏的童年游戏 to play around the game, 童年 childhood, childhood was about waiting for class to end, waiting for school to end, and waiting to play. 等待着下课，等待着放学，等待游戏的童年。Let's listen from the top. From here onwards, I'm going to talk about the epic ballads that is very popular in the '90s. And although I'm talking about Taiwan here, it would include mainland China as well, as most Manda pop was still produced in Taiwan and Hong Kong during the time. Manda pop produced in Hong Kong could be another episode in itself. Let me know in the comments. Apart from Luo Dayou, there's another master songwriter I want to talk about today. He just introduced himself by singing "Yeah Yeah Yeah," and his name is Li Zongsheng. Is it right to love you this way? I'm tired of asking this question. 我这样爱你对不对？这问题问得我自己好累。With songs written by Li Zongsheng, there's normally a lot of incisive views and questions about romantic love. This song is called 这样爱你对不对 Is it right to love you this way? Performed by Chen Shuhua, released in 1991. Right now, we're listening to the chorus with songs written by Li Zongsheng. The softened and epic chorus, just like this one. This line's just so intense. The lyric says, "If it's a sin to give up my truthful love, who could I trust but myself?" So straight to the core. Li Zongsheng is indeed a master songwriter. He's written so many love songs that touches so many broken souls. More episodes where I analyze his song and lyric writing are coming up, so please stay tuned. Say 
Many songs in the 90s are very showy. The male singer here, Zhang Yusheng, is making this very high note sound very easy. This song is called "Wo Chi Dai," so、uh, I'm expectant. Released in 1994. Also, another song released in Taiwan in 1994. Again, the exceptional skills by the singer Lin Zhixuan is making the high notes sound so easy. This song is called "Shu Le Ni Yin Le Shi Jie Yo Ru He." So, losing you, what's the point to win the world? And this song is called "Tian Hai," listening to the sea, released in 1997 by Zhang Hui Mei, also known as A Mei. The epic choruses and high notes that show off the exceptional abilities of the singers are often coupled with lyrics about romantic love that is either now or never, a cry from the bottom of your heart, or a very full-blown why. For example, this song is about crying. And arguably, that was the trend influenced by singers from the West, such as Whitney Houston, Lionel Richie, and Mariah Carey. Are you ready, Tom? What is going on here? Well, I'm trying to practice these characters that you gave me. Oh my God! All this on paper. Did you not download the Chinese Pod writing app? Go to ChinesePod.com/app and check out the new Chinese Pod writing app. Practice writing Chinese characters wherever, whenever. The new writing app only at ChinesePod.com. Save trees, get smart. This song is released in 1990 by Huang Pingyuan. In the next episode, we're going to look at another song by him, released in 1999, and we can see how styles in general had changed as we progress in time. Despite my huge efforts, you were never touched. So, as you can see, many songs during the time are of a similar strand. That sort of "It's only you," why isn't it me? We should love now, or we'll never be together. I am crying so hard, <laughs> so on and so forth. Today we started with Teresa Tang, Deng Li Jun's monumental influence throughout Asia, and then we looked at two master songwriters. Luo Dayou and Li Zongsheng. Particularly, we looked at "Tong Nian" by Luo Dayou. I then moved on to talk about the epic pop song style in Mandarin pop in the 90s. Before mainland China's open door policy in the late 1970s, Mandarin pop songs from Deng Li Jun, Liu Jiachang, as mentioned in the last episode, Luo Dayou, Li Zongsheng, and so on, had dominated the whole Chinese-speaking world. In the present and in the foreseeable future, we're going to see more successful stars coming out of mainland China. But the role of Taiwan driving the whole development of Mandarin pop and popular culture as a whole has been pivotal. There's so much more to discover and discuss, but I hope you've enjoyed what you've listened to so far. So please stay tuned to the show Journey into Mandarin Pop. My name is Chi, and I hope to see you next time. As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. 
You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 4335. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 4335 and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 4335.